Hey Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Getting right into your reading, Capricorns. Let's see what is coming up for you. you have stability, marriage, and integrity. There's a situation aligned with your values and morals because you want a marriage. You want long-term potential. You can see your you can see yourself marrying this person. There is financial issues that are affecting this relationship. This person could be unavailable at this time. You could be sensing this at this time too, but there's potential is what you see in this person. Just be aware of potential Capricorns because I feel like your intuition is heightening, your awakening, and as you do, this person. Some of you aren't necessarily on your way left anymore. So take it easy. Have patience. You know, this can work itself out. But you got to put yourself first. And I feel like with the high priestess showing up, um, as you awaken, there's potential that this person in Scorpio energy will too and will potentially meet you halfway here. However, we are in a full moon and Libra energy that starts today. It lasts for two weeks. Pisces energy as well. And then we enter Mercury retrograde April 1st, April Fool's, guys. So the next two, four weeks is going to be very chaotic and emotional time here. So for my single Capricorns, you're realizing that you want marriage, you want stability. And, and if people aren't giving you that, then you're moving on to the next. So you're doing amazing, Capricorns. You're doing awesome right now. Um, know that things are going to be working out in your favor. Someone knows that they're unavailable. They're dealing with financial issues, um, but they realize that you're their, your soulmate. You know, you love them unconditionally and they want to give that back to you. But right now they're very in a stress out messed up place and for some of you you know this already which is causing this rockiness in your relationship and you're like you know what i think i'm going to just end this and move forward here and as you do you are keeping your options open so let's see what's going on i have the five of cups the nine of cups and the nine of swords number nines are coming in because the chapter is closing out okay your connections are shifting here so if you've been having sleepless nights anxiety it's this person not you control your drinking as well this person could be like drunk texting you if i if you see this nine of swords you see this owl it's like a message that's coming in you might get a drunk text this week the timing just wasn't right for us the thought of you with someone makes me angry you could they could be seeing you out i regret lying to you and i am not available okay so that's coming out twice so take what resonates they're just too stressed out to have a commitment with you for some of you if they're dealing with that financial issues I have the tower in reverse. Could be dealing with the Virgo and the Five of Pentacles. Again, it's like you both see potential in each other, but right now you guys might need to just take a break and have patience. And what what will be will be here. Let's get some full moon and Libra messages. It's time to take action on what you want. If you need to, you know, uh, take time to breathe out, then do so. And that's what's coming in for you. It's kind of like, you know, I'll leave you to get it together. This person told you this already. Like, hey, I'm going through financial issues. I got to let you go. But in reality, they never um, emotionally still holding on to you. So a decision is coming in. Capricorns. I feel like some of you are just going to walk away. This person emotionally can give you what you want as well. So I do see time apart. Like I said, there's potential for a reconciliation eventually. Just not right now. It could be eight more weeks eight months for some of you let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others Capricorns and deception yeah someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship and it's like you're trusting your intuition on this you aren't the person that you know I have potential in right now with the sun card I have the strength card, the ten of pentacles, and I do feel like when this person is, gets their finances together, they're going to become a stronger, pseudo reliable partner for you. And again, this has potential to work out, work itself out. It's going to be around Leo season, August, August to October for some of you. I can take what resonates because like I said, this just happens. It's going to take some time and never, you know, uh, wait on anybody. Again, keep your options open, but you have love and success coming in, Capricorns, no matter what. You have communication coming in. You have brand new opportunities coming in. So trust your gut, follow your intuition, trust in your higher self. If you need to heal, do that. But someone's going to come in and try to heal things with you. They might even try to ask you out just to get you like in a public area. Ascending, preparing for union, transcending obstacles, and breaking this silent treatment. You know, missing you, yearning for you, unsure of this future. 
knowing that separation is inedible right now. But this is all the happening in divine timing, which is why the Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out with patience. It might hurt now, but you're going to see why things have to manifest exactly how they're supposed to be. You know, you're being redirected into something greater. Your money is going to be flowing, Capricorn. So plan your goals out. You're going to hear from this person, get an apology. You know, I'm no longer hiding how I feel. This person is very stubborn. Like as you mentioned earlier, very e egotistical. But knowing, you know, they don't want you with anybody else type energy. Feeling really unbalanced on who you're with or entertaining. But that's their fault. I feel like some of you are not going to move forward with this person. You're, you're going to move on. But they're going to try to step it up and be there. So let's just see, like, what's the potential outcome if you were to take this person back, Capricorns? What is the outcome? Okay, new beginnings. Okay, not knowing you go really putting in the work, but I feel like they can get a little bit, they might get a little bit possessed, so just be wary of that. Yeah, kind of throwing it in your face, you know, like very, because they might be emotionally draining here after a while, overwhelming, because it's like they're going to start throwing it in your face that there's new opportunities or they got themselves together type of energy. They're going to fall off the wayside and not give you an equal give and take, and it's going to become unbalanced again. So I even could say this can work out for one to four years before this person starts showing those colors again. You guys are going to have a good time, but then... You know, 10 to the angel number, 10 of pentacles in between this five of cups and the 10 of wands. So it's going to get overwhelming for you. Wow, triple tens on the board. So there's high and lows in regards to your relationship here. But it's like you guys always come back to each other. So it's going to be rocky for some of you to take what resonates there. But the lovers here, you can't overcome it, but it's going to take a lot for this to work with the five of wands and the two of swords energy. I feel like the love, the passion, and chemistry will always keep you guys together, but it's going to be a rough hill, right? It's going to, I feel like this person needs to go to therapy. So I feel like the love is unconditional for some of you that you can work it out. You could potentially be married. This is what's going on right now as well. I could be picking it up that way, all right? So take what resonates. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to leave you here.